company that uses advanced innovations to manage the country's limited area, so as to become able to continuously produce sufficient amounts of fresh vegetables. Owing to this cooperation, those innovations have been tested and developed to be used in Thailand. The project initial phase of this vertical farming pilot project, the greenhouse was built containing 16 towers, fitted with equipment for growing vegetables, with the equipment of each tower consisting of two sections. The first section is the structure of the tower made of aluminum with a height of 9 meters, a length of 3 meters, and a width of 1.70 meters. Each tower is fitted with 38 shelves, holding 8 trays for growing the vegetables on each level. 3 to 6 plants can be grown in each tray, depending on the kind of vegetables. And on each tower, between 912 and 1,824 plants can be grown for every planting season. The second section is the equipment that rotates the shelves, just like a water mill, driven by water pressure which is powered by a motor of half a horsepower. Water is pumped into the system to rotate the shelves in upward and downward movements. It takes 16 hours to make one circuit. The water pumped into the system, besides being used to rotate the shelves, is also used for the growth of the vegetables. The constructions for the vertical farming pilot project and the trial run for the system were completed in October 2015. After that, trial runs were carried out for planting the first batch of vegetables, which were four kinds of lettuce, namely green oak, red oak, butterhead, and green koss. The cycle of planting vegetables starts with germinating the seeds and nourishing the seedlings in the nursery. Preparing planting mediums by using CP, Maudin, organic fertilizer, which consists of a mixture of coconut coir, compost, chicken manure, and soil. Each pack of planting medium can be used to grow five batches of vegetables. When the seedlings are 15 days old, they are moved to and placed into the trays on the shelves, on every level of the towers in the greenhouse. Nursing the seedlings by watering and applying fertilizer is done through the same pipes pumping water into the system to rotate the shelves. Water in surplus is continuously returned to an integrated well and pumped back into the system to be used again. Thirty days after the seedlings have been planted in the trays, the lettuce is ready to be harvested. The official prepares the equipment for cutting and packing the vegetables to be moved into the warehouse. The towers where the lettuce has the appropriate size as required are chosen. The speed of the rotation of the shelves is increased for the purpose of cleaning and speedy harvesting. After the vegetables on every level of a tower have been cut completely, the shelves and trays are cleaned and the condition of the soil is improved. After a break of two days, new seedlings are planted for the next circle. When comparing the trial of vertically grown vegetables with the ordinary way of growing vegetables, it can be seen that the yield is equal, but vertical farming requires much less space because only 10% of flat land where vegetables are grown the usual way is used. 200 liters of water are needed for producing 1 kilogram of vegetables grown the usual way. But the vertical farming system is much more economical as it consumes only 10 to 12 liters of water, or merely 5% of the water used for the ordinary method of growing vegetables. Vertical farming also saves electricity, because only one motor of half a horsepower is used, which is capable of pumping water into the planting system of all 16 towers, and simultaneously watering and fertilizing the plants, and also rotating the plants to a higher level to receive sufficient light during their growth. The system for managing the various tasks has been designed to make work easy. There is a modern system gathering data to be used for managing the work, making it convenient for the employees to carry out their work flexibly. Therefore, less manpower is needed for vertical farming than for the ordinary method of growing vegetables. Vegetables grown by vertical farming are not hydroponic vegetables because they grow on soil. This method allows to control the use of water, minerals and nutrients in an appropriate manner without the use of herbicides and pesticides. 
Therefore, the products are of good quality. They have a sweetish taste, are crunchy, delicious, and safe for consumption. And they can also be stored for long periods of time.